What's up? This is Jimfro from Ready Check Pull, and this is the Need to Know Strategy Guide for Heroic and Normal Mithrax. Before we even get into the strat, let's talk about this crazy mechanic, Annihilation. When you get hit by any of the purple mechanics in the fight, you get a stack of Annihilation. This debuff reduces your max health per stack and does some ticking damage. Getting stacks of Annihilation also spawns these little green orbs around you that reduces your Annihilation stacks if you walk over them. You only really need to worry about collecting these orbs if you have high stacks, like above 10 or so. Before the raid starts, you'll need to set two markers down, Triangle on the west wall and Diamond on the east wall, making sure they're at least 40 yards apart. Assign half of the raid to be on the Triangle marker and the other half to be on the Diamond marker. You're setting this up for the add phase. Okay, let's start off first in the active phase. The boss is automatically pulled by jumping down into his room, so make sure a tank jumps first. Start by pulling the boss towards the north wall and facing him away from the raid. About every 20 seconds, the boss will cast a big frontal cone on the tank. This is where the tank should taunt swap, and the tank who doesn't have the boss, the one with the stacks, should run around collecting the little green orbs on the ground to get rid of their annihilation stacks. The raid should stay spread 5 yards apart from each other at all times, while staying as close to the boss as possible. Purple orbs will occasionally spawn on random players that charm everyone within 5 yards. Anyone caught in the sphere needs to be knocked out as soon as possible. This can be done with just about any knockback ability as well as simply damaging that player. When the player gets knocked out of the sphere, it does a ton of raid wide damage, so make sure to have people topped off before knocking multiple people out at the same time. A purple dot debuff will occasionally go out on two random players. These players have 12 seconds to get to their markers, one goes to triangle and one goes to diamond, before the debuff expires, triggering raid-wide damage that does less damage the further away they are. Also, dodge the giant purple wave that the boss randomly casts. I promise, all of this is way easier to execute than it is to say it in a video. Continuing, every 25% HP, the boss walks to the middle of the room and starts casting. The raid needs to immediately head toward their assigned markers while maintaining a 5 yard spread while still DPSing the boss though. At the end of the cast, the add phase starts. The raid needs to immediately stack up on their assigned markers. The tanks need to move each big add to their marker and face it away from the raid. The big adds need to be interrupted, which the tanks can handle. Little adds will spawn on top of players. They don't move, so interrupt them and cleave them down. This is why we're stacking. The boss also randomly casts a purple beam. Just dodge that. After 60 seconds, the active phase will start again. Quickly finish off any adds that are left over and make sure to spread back out for the purple orbs. The little green orbs stop spawning at 20%, so this is where you bloodlust and collect some loot. That's it! Good luck! And you can find more guides at readycheckpull.com.